I've always had this thing, um, like before I go on stage. Yeah. Um, let's say when 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 we do shows, right? You yeah. announce my name. Topic. And, uh, and then, Batista. And then they'll go like, oh. <laughs> you know, things like that, right? Then I will have this thing at the back of my head. When is this going to end? Really? He's been in the limelight since Singapore Idol, and he won it. 17 years ago in 2004. <laughs> I mean, this guy has done so much. Apart from music and entertainment, he's also uh, done his fried chicken business. He's also into real estate. And every time I've met him, he's been an absolutely lovely person. Let's welcome Taufik Batista. Hey, guys. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, it is the show, right? Yes, it is, yeah. it is, it is. It's insane, right? 17 years. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. And every time I see you, you've always been lovely. Actually, to be honest, you look the same, you know. You haven't <laughs> changed at all. You do look the same. Uh, you look much. better, actually. Thank you. Thank you. you Thank better. you for yeah. that. Yeah, every time I see you, you just look better. You're so sweet yeah. and kind. And and a lot of things have happened since Idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of things have happened since then. Yeah. So, I'm thinking about, um, you know, the challenges that you must have faced mm. from Idol in 2004 when you won yeah. uh, at such a young age. Yeah. And then everybody wanting a piece of you, yeah. Taufik. I mm. mean, that must have been hard. Was it difficult to deal with all that? I think um, for like the first year at least, right, I was I was kind of oblivious to um, the spot that I was in. Okay. Uh, people kind of like like idolize you or like look up to you. You know, you you're you're like thinking, oh, oh that's cool. I'm I'm popular right now. Everywhere I go, you know, people know you, right? Um, but about I think about a year plus later or maybe two years in and I realized, oh crap, um, people are just going to start judging me, right? Uh, people are just going to uh, critique me, like whatever negative things that I do or positive things that I do, they're going to start like like judging me and, and looking at me in a different way. I'm pretty lucky because social media wasn't a huge thing then. I was going to say the exact same thing, right? Taufik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, I guess that was good for my sanity, right? The funny thing is, Right now, you may get like a hundred great comments. It's just that one <sighs> negative comment is going to burn you. Yeah. And you're just going to focus on that one negative comment. Yeah. So I think I was lucky during Idol that you don't have this type of social medias and things like that. I mean, you do have forums and things like that. I don't really go into forums mm. and things like that. You know, mm. so again, a year in or, or two years in, I was, I was oblivious. I was a bit like, wow, everybody knows me. I'm going to get new friends. I'm going to hang out with new people and kind of like almost distant myself from my f real friends. Right. I was kind of lost. Mm. But I kind of like... Uh, Slow down. <laughs> you kind of realize. I kind of realize, like, right? whoa, yeah, dude, chill yeah, out. Yeah, chill a yeah, bit. Yeah, this is just work, dude. But it's so yeah. easy to fall into that. It's so easy, especially when it's overnight success. Yeah, it's, you know, exactly. You and and a, and a young age, yeah. and you're like, yeah, the the world is your oyster. Yeah. You can do whatever you want that now. Was, that was you scary, know? right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess I was lucky. Uh, I think one of the things probably is is the way my parents raised me, for yep. sure. Uh, to a certain extent, the uh, I think the the things our parents probably uh, or the values they inculcate in us when we were growing up, without yeah. us realizing it, it does something to us. Yeah, uh, I've always said this to uh, the young people that I meet. I, like sometimes it's fine to cross the line. Yep. Always remember to come back. Mm. And how you actually come back depends on your peers. I think first it depends on how you were raised. Yep. Uh, it depends on the people around you when you were growing up, right? And to a certain extent, religion does also, I mean, your, your sp spiritual yes. uh, self, yes. no matter what religious background you're in, also plays a part. So yeah. I think all these factors kind of like, it, it did help me for sure. Yeah, it must have been. 
I, I can only imagine that it must have been a rather insane time for you. <laughs> because was. I just remember everyone just talking about you all the time. Yeah. And I mean, it's a great thing. It's a great it's thing. It's a great thing. Yeah, yeah make no mistake Make about you that. feel like invincible, right? Yeah. This is never going to end. Yeah. And then the money was coming yeah. in. I think like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> what do I do with all these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when when it sort of died down a little bit yeah. and then you, you got your senses back and like yeah. the, you know, like the GPS was all mm. back again. Mm. Um, what do you make of that time or do you feel like you needed to go through that and kind of like mm. before you actually right. you know, uh, came back to yourself? The, the the thing is, right, like before I go on stage, yeah. Um, let's say when 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 we do shows, right, you yeah. announce my name. Topic! And, 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 then, and then they'll go like, ah, <sighs> and things like that, right? Then I will have this thing at the back of my head when is this going to end? Really? This reaction from, from people, right? And then I'm, I'm wondering, this has, has to end at some point. It has to end at some point. Every time, it has to end at some point. Oh it has gosh. to end at some point. So like Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Yeah. Like two years in, five years in, 10 years in, 15 years in, it, it never did end, right? <laughs> I was like, no way. Okay, dude. Uh, it is going to end. Uh, do not get delusional. Use whatever you have right now. Yeah. Diversify and plan and do something else. Yeah. The earlier I realized that, oh crap, I'm self-employed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't have any safety nets. Okay. I don't come from a rich background. I don't have a rich dad to like fall back on things yeah. like that. So, all right, I got to figure this out. You can put it in a way where it's a negative thing. Right? Yeah. I don't put it as a negative Yeah. Thing. I put it as a voice in my head that tells me, do, do not be complacent yeah. ever. It allowed me to have all these crises fun. It uh, allowed, allowed me to have foresight to always plan ahead and things like that. Yeah. So, I mean, when the pandemic hit... You were like, okay. I was like, I'm okay. I'm all right. All right, cool. I, I'm, I'm prepared. Yeah. What do I do next? Yes. Pivot, adjust, do, do what you have to do. Yeah. Don't wait for anyone. I love that because that really keeps like the fire under your bum, right? Like, okay, we got to yeah. always like, you know, be awake and be prepared for anything. For sure. So you have pivoted and pivoted so <laughs> well. Topic. It's God willing. It's God willing. We, we work really hard, but yeah, uh, of yeah. course, it, it is God willing. I believe that. And at 40, I don't have time to waste. Yeah. I don't. Mm. If you're 20 right now, I highly recommend you to do everything that you want to do. Try out everything that you want to try. Fail at it. Learn from it. Try again. You have a lot of time to do it. I'm 40. <laughs> I don't have time to try and fail. But still, a part of me goes like, you have to try out new things. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. Even if you fail, maybe your uh, your recovery period is... is Shorter, right? Mm. I mean, you can't limit yourself. You yeah, still you can't. can't limit yourself. But practically, I know uh, the duration that I have to recover and things like that is a lot shorter. Yeah. I mean, like talking about you being 40 now and looking yeah. back when you were 20, is there anything that you would have done very differently, you think? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah? You know, like people say like, oh, no, I wouldn't change anything. No, I would change a lot of, I would change a lot <laughs> of things, me, right? Name me two things you would change. Um, Stand up for myself. And, and and never let anybody talk down to me. Was that happening a lot? Yeah, because I was... Uh, when I was younger, right? Yeah. I was short and, and chubby. Yeah, yeah, legit, legit. I, really? I was a late bloomer. Yeah, yeah. I wish I knew or, or I told myself when I was in my 20s or whatever, never let anybody talk down to you. Just stand up for 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 your rights stand up for yourself mm -hmm. but of course choose your battles lah yeah. you know like if there's like five people ten people then it's all right yeah. all right it's all right you say whatever you want <laughs> yeah, yeah. i will walk away yeah, that's right. later i call police or i report that's to the principal right. or whatever it is right but if yeah. it's like if you're in a setting whereby someone's talking down to you uh belittling you mm. stand up for yourself i think it's good for your mental health oh yeah it will make you uh, stronger over time because sometimes that person who's talking down to you, right, they don't realize what they are doing. But when you put your foot down, you kind of like uh, poke back, right? And then they go, oh, 
Oh, I mean, if you're lucky, they go, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to put but it that way. There might be a realization right? later. There might be, yeah, exactly, right? right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if that person who talks down to you or whatever have that instant realization, yeah. I have full respect for that person. Right? Yes. Because the intention was, wasn't was uh, malicious. Yeah. It was just a joke. It was really just a joke. Yeah. So, I mean, then I will have respect for that person who actually like, Oh, all right, that's cool then. Yeah. Right. But if they don't have that realization, I yeah. mean, you just have to do it because you can't allow people to talk down to you. It's just yeah. not right. And then when you allow one, you allow all. You, you allow you all. Know? Then yeah. you're just going to be a pushover, right? Yeah. Mm. It is scary if you're scary. a small person yeah. like when I was, right? Uh, it is definitely scary, but just just do it I think it's, it'll be yeah. great for your mental health but again choose your battles choose your battles choose your, yeah. and then now with time and growing older and looking back at that we realize that the people who say the bad things to yeah. us um, um, are just in a possibly and more often than not in a horrible place themselves and yeah, therefore yeah. they're projecting on all these exactly. things on you so now we realize that oh actually when somebody says something to yeah. us that's unfavorable, yeah. they are actually the ones that we need to be kind to because we realize exactly. they're in a terrible right. spot, you right. know? Yeah, yeah, exactly what, what you just said. Yeah. Uh, because we really don't know what they are going through. Yeah. They might just be projecting. Right? So that's one thing that you would change. Do you yeah. have another thing that you would change? I should have younger? invested a lot earlier. Oh, yeah? I should have invested a lot <laughs> earlier. I wish someone have told me this, <laughs> right? Uh, I wish I would have like, I don't know, bought some some bitcoins or whatever just just right. putting money into some apple or exactly. things like that so we need to talk about your chick's hot chicken yay okay like listen that is like something i did not think you'll be you'll be doing right yeah and then all of a sudden i hear you're doing real estate yeah. and you're awesome at it Thank you're you. doing Thank so you. well i try i try okay so this is the pivoting we're talking about yeah. here you pivoted mm. and you did uh chick's hot chicken yeah and i'm sure during the pandemic it was hard it was crazy um and i hear that you know during that time yeah. you wanted to expand mm. uh, during the pandemic but yeah. i mean that hit so you couldn't really do that yeah, yeah. my 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 partners, Bob, Zad, uh, brilliant, brilliant individuals. When you go into business, it is very important to choose your business partners. Don't just go into business with people who just have money. I'm sure. I'm. I'm sure that works too. <laughs> when you have infinite amount of money to just pump yeah, in, and no, that'll be great. That'll be, yeah, great, that'll be great, right? Great, but yeah. of course, you need to partner up with someone who has a vision. Uh, and also and a similar vision to similar you, right? Vision. You gotta share a bit yeah. of like the same ideas of where you want to take sure, this business sure. to, right? And, and, and similar principles, I would yeah. say. Uh, you you will uh, butt heads for sure, yeah. right? I mean, that's healthy, right? Mm. Uh, so I think I'm really, really lucky to be with with my, my, my partners for Chicks or Chicken. So in the midst of all this, mm. that's when you started your real estate thing, <laughs> yeah. is it? So my brother has been asking me to join real estate. Okay. Uh, he's been doing it. Uh, when I started, he's been doing it for eight years. He's, so, so now he's done it for like 10, mm, 10 and a half years. Okay. Already. One of the other things that I would tell myself when I was 20 or 30 or whatever, yeah. never be afraid to take the leap. Okay. Never be afraid to try new things. Yep. It is absolutely scary to step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Absolutely scary. Right? I can't imagine. Right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've been doing radio for so for long. So long. Right? Can yeah. you imagine not doing radio? You know, anymore? I can't. I right? can't. Right. And I, I would be so scared right. if I had to do something completely different. Exactly. So <clears throat> I was like, oh, okay, let's just take the exam. Uh, use my skills future. Hey. <laughs> 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 the skills future. And then. Uh, I mean, God willing, I actually passed on the first attempt. I was lucky because I have my brother yep. uh, to guide me properly. Yeah, that's I basically right. mirrored whatever he did. He must be <clears throat> successful at it too. He's great. Oh my gosh. My brother is... He was from FMB line. He really hustled. If there's anyone who, who really hustled his way to where he is right now, right? It is my brother. Do you, did you find yourself following in his footsteps? You know, I, 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 I appreciate, I'm so, so privileged to have him uh, teach me to be my mentor. Yeah. And uh, this was 2019. Then 2020, the pandemic hit. Yeah. Right? And I was like, oh my gosh. Thank God. I passed, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I could, I could pivot, uh, kind of like naturally pivot. Yeah. Uh, and then my mindset was like, um, all right, I'll still do music. 
acting and shows when I do have it. Yeah. My company will 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 do that. Uh, I'm still gonna. I have my team with Chicks Hot Chicken to to run that, and then we'll have meetings and things like that. Continue to promote that, and then I have my team. Yes. Uh, uh, in the property line, so we created a team. It was my brother, myself, uh, my cousin Zai, my my friend Siti, uh, and my um, friend Dean. Uh, we created a team called SMZ DBB, right? Oh, Siti uh, Muzani Matisa Bros. I'm just thinking, like when you're selling stuff, right? Mm. I mean, you probably don't have to do too much. You arrive and it's Taufik <laughs> Batisa, man. I, know, that's I what, mean, like, it must be easy. You I, smile, you sell the house. That's what that's everyone it. says, right? That's what everyone says. It, that's interesting because uh, I would... Has that ex- been the, your experience or no? Has uh, it? No. If you were someone who wants to sell your million dollar property, right? Would you call a celebrity who sings and <laughs> yeah. act, who owns a fried chicken store to sell your property and plan your property journey to buy the next $2 million property? Would you really do that? I might. <laughs> you would? I might. I mean, that's awesome. That, that, that's awesome. Right? Yeah, it sounds like a joke. I wouldn't call a celebrity to sell my house. Even if it's a half a million dollar property, a HDB or whatever it is, I wouldn't call a celebrity. You wouldn't call yourself? I wouldn't. I wouldn't because why? Does he really know what he's talking about? Apparently you do. Right. I mean, <laughs> I, I know exactly what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But so here's, here's that the hurdle. Thing. As a, it's a huge hurdle. Yeah. I would say the advantage is I can break the ice easily. And they can trust you immediately. Yeah, because I'm I'm free from controversy and yeah. they know the type of brand that I bring. Yes. And I'll give you a scenario. Um so uh, I would shadow my brother mm. most, right? Uh, I would shadow him go for presentations and things like that. And back then, it was physical presentation. So mm. you come in, came in, broke the eyes, da, da, da. then I started speaking, right? I kind of like took over. La. Okay. And then I can see like uh, the wife, like dear, dear eyes, look at me like... <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you know, she burst out laughing. No! She burst out laughing. I was like, uh, why, why, what's, we are dancing something wrong? He said, no, I can't take you seriously. No! <laughs> Yeah, she was like, oh I'm just waiting for you to sing or something. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. You need to bust out some moves. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. And I was like, oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. Looking on from the outside, <laughs> I absolutely understand. Yeah. Like, like what I was saying, you want to put like your, your transaction into a celebrity's hand or whatever it is, right? Whatever business that you are doing, you better damn well know what exactly you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. What you're doing. So... I guess right now, 100 plus transactions later, I, I do know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Give It, it sounds cliche again, but just give it 100% or even more in whatever you do, right? Yeah. Don't waste your time. Don't half step it. Just just go full in. I and love it, that about you, Taufik, because mm. I feel it in, in, in like your performances, mm. your interviews and everything. I yeah. feel like you are there, yeah. present, 100%, right, right. Mm. and giving it your everything, which... I, I guess you have to. I love it. Yeah, you have to. You have to, for yeah. sure. I know you have two cats. Yeah. Um, I, I have three cats, actually. You have three cats? I have three cats, yeah. And are they part of your stress relief as uh, well? For sure. I love yeah. to disturb my cats. <laughs> I love it. They, they do a lot of annoying things. Uh, <laughs> like when, when we just moved one of it, Cleo actually took a dump on my bed like twice oh, wow. because she was anxious. Okay. So I don't, oh. I don't blame her. Yeah. Uh, but she's like the most anxious and needy one. Mm. So she did that. I was like, oh my God. Okay, Cleo, seriously, you are banned from the room, right? You're banned. So when I see her like coming to the room, no. <laughs> Out. Your your room pl- privileges are gone. <laughs> revoke. Yeah, I revoke. And then like Munchie, the other one will come in and chill in the room and things like that. Yeah, so it's shoes, Munchie and, and Cleo. Nice. Super cute. Yeah, super cute. Hey, speaking of animals, yeah. producer Gracia okay. is going to show us right. um, different animals that she's she's drawn okay and we've got to like make the sounds right of uh, of it um it's a bit of a competition she's gonna be bad okay okay uh and whoever i guess laughs first mm-hmm. is, is out the one who wins gets a thousand points okay <laughs> or something thousand points sounds good <laughs> <laughs> okay so are we ready who's gonna go first well the guest should go first oh so. sure okay. thank you okay go ahead ah easy Do another one. Do an angry cat. 
Oh, that's pretty good. Wow. I just I just impressed myself. <laughs> I just like, whoa, that was good. <laughs> that was that's worth a thousand points. Thank you. Okay, how how how, how would your cat sound? Um, go? Okay. Like, Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Mine's just going higher and higher and I don't know. These sound like, sounds like the cats outside my house. <laughs> one of those sounds, uh, which is what one of my cats would do, Yeah. shoes especially, when he wants to play with his sister, Aww. Cleo. So she doesn't want to play, right? Right. So he'll go like, and then the, the other one will just start hissing and he doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to play. Like, come on, play with me. Yeah, it's, it's it hilarious. It sounds like a, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, come on, let's play with me. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so good. That was pretty good, actually. That was good. Okay. Oh my God, the Coel bird. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Mine, mine's bad. Yours is better. <laughs> Alright, I got this. Do I got this? <laughs> <laughs> like in my mind, I know I yeah, have it. Yeah. But I've never done this sound in my <laughs> life. <laughs> but I think I have it. This is gonna be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be like a wow. <laughs> <laughs> Like a like a cub, ah. like, or like a baby lion. All my again. animals sound like cats. Now. I I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is That's it a horsey? Bad. That's pretty good. You want to try a horse in you? <laughs> they always do that. Wow. Right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a herd of goat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, uh, you're so good at this topic. Uh, Thank you for having fun with us. You get a thousand points. Hey, <laughs> I like points. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this episode of Are You Okay? We'll see you next week. I'm Jean Danker. Bye. Mwah. For me, when I feel things are a little out of control, I get a bit, oh, I don't know where to start. I don't know how to start. Oh. Can I just run away? You know, sometimes when yeah. you have like 50 messages, for example, but ding, 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 yeah. ding, and the, the decisions to be made, there are people waiting for a response and all that. Sometimes I feel I get a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, naturally, yeah. yeah. Okay. Last time I used to feel like I have to keep everything in and I'm okay, I'm okay. And people don't understand me at all. Right. So now I, I feel it's it's good that I, I choose to express myself and um, I have found certain ways to, to help myself out when I feel like that. 